Would you be interested if I told you you could get independent suspension for your trailer that's bolt-on, no cutting, no welding, 100% bolt-on, and you can take it with you when you change trailers? Wow, that's amazing. Good morning, everyone. Today is an exciting day for us. We're finally at Mori to get our independent suspension. Woot woot! <laughs> Alaska, here we come. So we are working with Mori to do an independent suspension, and then we are going to take this trailer and head north to Alaska. Yeah, I'm really excited, and we're starting planning our trip. It's going to be next summer back up to Alaska, where I'm from. He was stationed there. All right, y'all, we apologize up front. This is going to be a little loud, man. These semis are just flying through here. It's definitely a work day and it's a Wednesday. <laughs> That's right. So we pulled in first thing this morning and what happened? So we go and we check in, let them know we're here. And a couple of the guys from the crew, they come out and they measure all kinds of stuff. That's right. They're looking at the height, the suspension, the overall length. They're checking everything. They want to make sure that their beautiful independent suspension that they put on is the factory standard to what your trailer is coming in so that there's no clearance issues. Once all that's done, then the fun begins. Here, back it in the bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a challenge, and it's not because I can't back up. No. So the challenge was the sun, how it was just right over the building. It's a nice, beautiful day. But yes, challenging. It was a challenge getting in because you're going into a black hole with two yellow lines in the sun being right in my mirror. It took a few tries. These guys are super patient and super professional. Yeah, they were nice. They came out and helped spot. So now it's all tucked away in the bay. They put the jacks up, make it safe, and they raise it up and level it out. Yep. And then they pull the tires off. They start ripping the suspension off. The first thing they're going to pull off is the disc brakes since those will be reused. And then we're going to cut off the suspension. I can't wait to see that. They haven't started yet. Let's go take a look at how that goes. They service your RVs and this is the main building greeted by a handsome guy and you come in check in they have restrooms for you and a nice lobby They have cold drinks, hot coffee, tea, and they even order you lunch.
Chris and I, we were extremely excited for this upgrade. We've been wanting the Moride Independent Suspension back when we had the Valor, and then we got on the waiting list about a year ago yep. with this Paradigm, and we finally got it five months ago. That's right, five months ago. And you're probably wondering, why did I wait five months to put the video out? You know us, we're gonna beat the snot out of this thing before we bring it to market and tell you what we think. Cause it doesn't do any good if we go, ooh, look, shiny. Yeah, we got brand new IS, da 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 da. Okay, no. that's great, but Put how, some miles on yeah, that sucker. how is it working? Especially since we're taking it up to Alaska next summer. Yes, and of course we've done the Alaska trip five times. We know what we're getting into. <laughs> IS is gonna be a game changer for us. I am thrilled that we ended up waiting, not because it took forever, but I'm thrilled because their technology changed. And they now have a completely full functioning independent suspension system that bolts in to your existing hangers. And most importantly, they don't have to cut your trailer. They don't have to weld on your trailer. And we change trailers quite frequently. We're on number three now. We want to take the IS with us. Yeah. And it cuts down the time that you're in their shop, which... That's a win for them and a win for us, right? In and out faster. Now, 4,000 miles, five months of travel. What do you think? What's your experience from the passenger seat and or driver's seat? I think the Moride independent suspension has been amazing. So I've been driving a lot more, towing a lot more because Chris is working and we're traveling on work days. Yep. So I would just... Oh, going from Florida to California, I was like kind of white knuckled. I was, I felt like I was all over the place. I mean, I've, I have experienced towing, but it was kind of nerve wracking, especially going through Arizona. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we would go over a bump, the truck would hit you, right? You get wham, you get slammed by the truck. And then next thing you know, wham, you get slammed by the trailer. Fast forward to the independent suspension. I didn't realize that I had a reaction very similar to shooting a firearm. You shoot a gun, you get recoil. And people, if you're not careful, can flinch due to the recoil. Mm -hmm. We were having that same reaction in the truck. We would go over a train track or an overpass. We would hit that and the truck get thumped and then brace for impact mm -hmm. on the trailer. And we realized after the first couple times that we were doing that because you would get thumped by the truck and then the trailer would walk right across it. Yeah, we're like, brace yourself. And then sometimes we'd pull over into the next rest area and check to see, did anything fall? Is the fridge open? And right. after independent suspension, no, nothing's fallen. Nothing moves. <laughs> I mean, does the trailer still bounce a little? Yes, it's a suspension. But yeah. what's neat about it is we're not getting that jarring, that hard impact. Things aren't falling off the walls. You're not getting stuff sliding out of wherever we have it stored. It's been a game changer. It took us a year on the waiting list to get the IS. And it was worth it for us because we realized that this waiting had an unexpected benefit, which was bolt-on. Yes. So no more welding. It takes half the time. Yeah. And it's a fully built out, pre-rigged independent suspension that rolls up under your trailer and bolts into the existing um, hangers from your suspension and the way they have it set up is that it's supported on the I-beam of your trailer so that it's not like four little bolts holding this. You've got four plus feet of steel and four bolts holding it true on top of that and it's still a fully adjustable suspension system with camber, caster, toe in, toe out. So if you need to do an alignment, you can. So this is why Chris and I, we were extremely excited about this because we're going back to Alaska next summer where I'm from. He was stationed there with the Air Force and we have a lot of friends and family. Trip number six up and back the Alcan. This will be the first time we get to do it with IS. I'm really excited because we've driven through some roads in Arizona and New Mexico that were way worse than Alaska. I agree. <laughs> way worse, I'm serious. So this is going to make a huge difference and one of the unexpected benefits for us is ground clearance. They leveled our trailer out to our truck and it tows so much better because we were nose high, just a little on the truck. Now that they put the suspension on, they were able to level it out so that we're completely level and it makes our pin box work better because our pin box is the Moride pin box and it slides back and forth, has rubber dampening. So it put the whole system in perfect alignment and everything works flawlessly together to really cut down the chucking and bucking and beating us up. All right, I gotta bring this up. <laughs> I don't know where she's going with this, and that's being real. Now, Chris said it leveled it, so it raised the back end 
five inches, which makes me happy because on our trip home from getting this beautiful, beautiful paradigm, Mr. Peters over here, my soulmate, he broke one of the legs. So we call this the Black Pearl. It's the Black Pearl. It's our pirate ship. I peg legged it on the first trip. You haven't seen the video? When you're done watching this one, go look at it. I'll link it at the end. So yes, we, they brought our rear end up five inches, but the best part is we're one inch shorter in the front AC, which is the highest point of our trailer because our trailer was so low that front tip of the AC was high. So when they brought it up, even though our back came up, our front went down. So we are now 13.2 and we were 13.3 rolling in. So that is a huge win. And I have a ton more ground clearance and a huge suspension improvement. This has been real. Since our fifth wheel is now more level, what did we do to the legs? We brought up our stabilizers. We actually went up two holes, which is about two inches. So our uh, stabilizers now have more ground clearance because there's more suspension travel on the independent suspension than what there was on the uh, CRE 3000 by almost double. So we brought our stabilizers up so that we could utilize the suspension and not take the chance of making this pirate ship number two and peg legging it again. Now, the stabilizers we brought up was the one in the middle and the back. We left the front ones because it was actually at the right height. Yeah, the front ones, they have them sucked all the way up. From the factory, they're about two holes lower than what they are right now. Um, the only thing we've found because we raised it, we now put those, we'll call them Lego blocks, the plastic Camco blocks underneath it. And that keeps us from wobbling. If we put our legs down without the blocks, the trailer gets a little wobblier because you have more of a throw. But I'll take that with the ground clearance and the better travel any day. Absolutely, because when we're going into some places, some RV parks or wherever, sometimes one of us will jump out and we're on the phone with the other and we're like, okay, okay, checking the legs to make sure we'll clear something. And so far we haven't had a problem since we had the independent suspension put on. Prior to that was like, nope, back up. Do it's it again. Another route. <laughs> so there has been some things about this upgrade that for us are huge wins that we didn't anticipate. Like everybody knows the trailer is going to ride better, run better. You're going to get better life out of your tires. You're going to have a lot less maintenance. For me, it's the little things. It's that recoil. It's the ground clearance. It's just knowing that our trailer's not getting beat up. That's another thing. You bring up a good point, Chris. So tires, we actually had to get our tires warrantied out and we put new tires on with our independent suspension. Yep. Now, do you have to? No, but our tires actually needed to be changed out. Right. We had standard traditional factory axles that lost their camber, which is the arch. It lost it, it went flat. So the inside of both sets of tires, front and rear, started wearing really bad on the inside. And I know you're gonna say it's because overweight. It's not. <laughs> we four corner weigh this thing every single year. Yeah, and it's a factory times. defect, period. Yeah. And we travel pretty light. Yeah. One of the perks to the independent suspension that I didn't think about in the beginning is the preventative maintenance. There's only two Zerk fittings on the torque brackets. You have to lube those up every six months. Other than that, that's it for the grease gun. Now, the actual factory suspension, we all know, I think that had about 18 different Zerk fittings because there's so many moving parts between the shackles, the hangers, the springs, the U-bolts, you get it. All I have to do is make sure I grease the torque brackets and that I visually inspect everything when I stop, make sure there's no abnormal wear on my tires, check the hubs, make sure that there's no excess of heat, check your shocks, make sure there's nothing leaking, no different than you do for your own vehicle. Overall, this is a lot less work and we cheated. And how do we do that? So while we're getting our independent suspension installed, we went ahead and made an appointment with Moride for next year to bring it in. That's right, we're taking advantage of the fact that they do the periodic maintenance on their stuff. We're gonna have them redo our wheel bearings, they're gonna check our disc brakes, they're gonna make sure our alignment's in good shape. We're up there every summer anyways. I'm sure you've seen that we already had disc brakes. We got those put on last year. This year we did an upgrade, so we went from the system we had, which was Hydrostar, over to a D-Max. And if you look right here, you'll see a little pin. Let me show you down here. You see that? There's a little pin there. Those pins hold the calipers in place and they make sure that your calipers can't move. This upgrade was well worth it and I can say these D-Max brakes have been excellent. Definitely a good upgrade if you decide to go with the IS and even if you don't, you wanna keep your suspension but you just wanna do a disc brake upgrade, we can't recommend enough. The D-Max calipers and brakes have been really good and we're still using the Hydrostar actuator and that has worked out just fine for us. We've mentioned Alaska a couple times in this video. 
we are going to take this trailer and this brand new IS system and we are going to put it to the test. We are going to do a full documentary series of our travels to Alaska with the suspension and show you step by step what we see. Now, our question for you guys, have you ever been to Alaska? Do you want to go? Is yeah. It, is it a bucket list item? Yeah. And if you've gone, did you take the cruise? Did you take an RV? If so, what kind of RV? Did you fly? Yeah. A lot of people fly and rent. They do? Yep. So stick around. Next summer, we're going to do a heck of an amazing Alaska series with this independent suspension. Yeah, and this isn't your normal Alaska series. So I'm from Alaska. Chris was stationed there, and we lived there for many years, and we've did so many Alaska adventures. So we're going to give you insight of what it's like being local there and our favorite fishing spots. We may reveal, but may not give the GPS coordinates. <laughs> Maybe for the right price. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're interested in any more ride products, we're gonna link it down below. Yep, if you have questions about the independent suspension, please reach out to us. And if you do decide to get independent suspension or any upgrades, let more I know the Venturesome couple sent you and you can save a little bit of money in the process. And yes, we do work with Morite. Yes, we 100% believe in their products and we wouldn't be bringing it to you unless it was absolutely the best quality, period. Yeah, other than that, don't forget, like and subscribe. Thumbs up, turn on the bell notification, and if you're curious about what other crazy more ride upgrades we've got, watch this next video. Other than that, have a great day and enjoy every moment.